Hi there, I'm Linda and this is Hutton's Valley Permaculture. Today I'm out here on my lower swale because it's planting time and today I'm going to get some macadamias in the ground. These are my two macadamias that I picked up the other day. These are suited to cooler temperate climates but they do require a bit of nurturing to get the tree up and running and at this time of year you have to protect from frost and you do also have to protect from strong winds. So today I'm going to build a little structure that's going to hopefully protect these little plants and give them a good start so they can get going. I'm also going to, in that same vein of looking after them, I'm going to plant some support trees. In this case, I've got these little elderberries that I've grown from cuttings and they grow really quickly. This one really wants to get into the ground and they're going to bush up and also provide some shelter from the wind for my little macadamia trees. In addition to the shelter that I'm going to build for these two trees, I've got some cardboard to help keep the weeds down, some old hay, which I'm going to mulch it thickly with. I was able to pick that up the other day from a, a farmer, getting rid of it all. And I've also got some mushroom compost that I can also add onto the soil to help give these little trees a really good start. We've just passed the middle of my lower swale. This is an apple tree just here and further along the swale you can see that there's a walnut tree there. So I've got to be mindful with the placement uh, that they're not too close to those productive trees. I'm going to position one of the trees just actually here so it's still sort of four meters away from my walnut tree and it's five six meters away from the apple tree the second tree I'm going to place just here there's four meters or more to my apple tree and it's like about six meters to that walnut and at least four meters away from the other macadamia that I'm going to put so this spot here is going to be good. We've got protection from the east winds with the, the woodlock that's not far away. We do have to protect a little bit from the south. The south winds could come through here and affect it. This swale here is fairly sheltered from the west wind. The winds actually follow along the creek line. They don't impact too greatly in this spot. So I think um, with the little shelter that we're going to build, these macadamias are gonna have their best chance. This macadamia is a Beaumont variety and it is a cross between an intergrifolia and a, a tetraphylla. Now I know the tetraphylla is the one suitable for the um, cold area. So we're gonna plant this in full sun, protect from the wind and the frost and uh, cross our fingers. I'm just going to start by preparing the site because I'm going to put a bit of a frame around it to make sure it doesn't get um, knocked out by the winds. I have to prepare sort of a flattish area to make sure I can get that um, structure in. So I'm going to just move some of this soil. Now being on the swale they will get a fair amount of drainage so I don't think too much water will be an issue. I'll have to keep an eye on it in summer until it gets established and make sure it gets plenty of water. The soil's actually pretty good, so I don't think I need to add any organic matter into it. I'm gonna just put this plant in the ground and then add a good layer of the mushroom compost all around. I've loosened all the soil, so its roots will have an easy time getting in. Yeah, that should do it. Now I have grabbed a little bit of soil from another spot and moved that in so that it is up a little bit and not in a depression, just to make sure the drainage is adequate. This needs a bit of water. In this swale there's heaps of this creeping buttercup so I'm going to add some cardboard around this little plant so that it gets it a chance to uh, get established before it gets a bit inundated with all that weed. So I'm just going to place this cardboard around it. 
Okay, so that's one tree in. I'm gonna get the uh, little structure around it and then put on the, the hay. So just to figure out the best way to go about this, I wanna protect from the south winds and make sure it's got plenty of warmth from the sun, which is in the north there. Something like that. I have already lost three macadamia trees in this area, so I didn't give them much protection. So I'm going to try and really look after them a lot better this time. I think I'm gonna to have to hammer some posts in behind these to make sure they stay. Okay, that'll stop it from falling back. For the moment, a trusty hay string is just gonna hold it back until I get it all sorted. Okay, well I've got that secured. It is secured with a hay string here, which is fairly jerry, and I've just jammed in some bits of timber because it's at an odd angle. Now it doesn't have to stay here for too long, but this will actually, this structure will help reduce the wind that this little tree cop, and this will help increase the, the warmth for this tree and hopefully give it a really good start. That's the plan anyway. I'm gonna put the second tree just in here. I do have a little tree there that will grow and bush and uh, shelter it a bit. And it should be right from wind coming from uh, the west. I'm gonna put the post in first and uh, get the little backboard in position for it and then plant the tree. Well, it may seem like overkill at the moment. I think we've tucked this little macadamia in really nicely. So it should get well established, but this structure isn't going to stay here forever. What I'd like to do now is just plant a couple of elderberries just on either side to bush up. They grow really quickly and that'll help give this little tree some protection as well. We can then just prune those as needed and just adjust the situation down the track as everyone grows. just flipped that backboard it was sort of long ways south down there this little guy is well and truly protected from those winds and we'll get the warm north sun bouncing off that backboard of time yesterday afternoon to get my frost protection on properly so I rigged up uh, a jerry built and it's been frosty this morning but my little plant 
looks just fine. You can feel that that's really icy, but the plant looks great. Just over here, hopefully, this one's, oh yeah, this is all crispy and uh, looks pretty good under here. So I'll be making something a little bit more permanent with some wooden stakes when it warms up a little bit later, but at least this cover got them through the night. Getting plenty of sun, so I'm just going to leave this in place over winter while we have the risk of frost and before this vegetation around the tree grows up. Plan is eventually to, to not have to cover this little tree, but these support trees that are around it and the little elderberry that I planted yesterday that should grow up and all these trees will give it a little bit more protection from the frosts down the track and they can sort of grow large all together that's the plan anyway there is a little tree hiding in the teepee I think it should be happy. It's got the beautiful sunlight bouncing off that backboard and retaining the warmth. It's a nice day today, but when it comes to cool winter days, uh, hopefully this will keep this plant a lot more snug. You can see it in there getting plenty of light still. So I'm happy to leave this little plant for winter now. I have lost quite a few plants to the frost, so it looks a bit like overkill but for me I think it's going to really help keep this plant going until all this surrounding vegetation kicks in and does the sheltering job. It's got plenty of light there to grow, it's got the north facing light coming through and bouncing off this backboard to create a bit more warmth that also protects from the southerly winds and the frost will be kept off the tree with this netting. So happy to leave these two trees now. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.